Sometimes we want to be able to change the lipstick color or just the overall color of the lips of a model. So go ahead and open up princess.jpg and I'll show you two ways to accomplish this effect. So I have princess.jpg open and just make a rough selection with the lasso tool, not right along the lips, just a little bit around the lips like that. And then click on the bottom of the layers panel, just create a new adjustment layer and go to hue saturation. And use the targeted adjustment tool here. Select that and then click somewhere on the lips and click and drag so it bring a little bit more saturation into it and you'll see saturation goes up as we do that. Let me move this over a little bit. So you see it goes up as we go to the right. Don't want to overdo it but and so our set our saturation and it selected the reds there is when we use that automatically of course. Uh, the problem is we got a little bit of area around there that was affected too. So we want to choose a brush with black as a foreground color, soft edge, hardness set to 0%, and with the mask selected right here, just click and drag. Make sure your opacity is 100%, flow is 100%, mode is normal. And let's just do something like that, get a nice soft edge. And we just want to get rid of some of that area that was being affected. We can Alt or Option click the mask and it'll show it if we're missing some areas, but some of the areas weren't affected because it wasn't under the red hue. So that's one effect. If it's too strong, we can adjust the opacity of this adjustment layer. So there's before and then there's after. It's just adding a saturation to the red areas on the lips. And on the adjustment layer, we could also, it's a live adjustment, right? So you can click it and if we could colorize and you can see parts of the areas are actually now being affected that weren't earlier. That's because under the colorize it actually adds a color there. So if you wanted to make it a completely different color, uh, something like that, uh, we would need to mask out even more because it is affecting those areas. With the colorize checked, it's going to affect more areas and not just areas that were red. Alright, so there's before and there's after. I'm going to delete that top layer. Another way to adjust the lips is to create another adjustment layer, but this one, instead of hue saturation, we're not doing a selection beforehand either. We're just clicking that and then going to selective color, way at the bottom. Let's see if I can move this up here. Yeah, way at the bottom. All right, there we go. With the red selected here under color, just click and drag the cyan to the left and the right and see what kind of effects we can do and magenta as well. And of course we're going to need to mass out everywhere else because it's affecting the entire image. So we could alt backspace or option delete right here with foreground color set to black to fill it or just press control or command I. So command I on the Mac, control I on the PC and that will invert it so it fills it with black. And then we just need to paint some white in. So make sure the foreground color is set to white and wherever the lips are we want to add some white in so it shows through to the mask left bracket to make the brush smaller right bracket on the keyboard to make the brush a little bit larger so that's another effect here's before and then there's after and again if it's too strong we can take the opacity bring that down a little bit you could also hold control on the PC or command on the Mac and click the mask so it makes a selection of the lips like so. Just go to select modify feather. I'm going to do a one pixel feather there. Create a new layer and paint with the brush with some foreground color set to black. Soft edge so we kind of have a soft edge there still. Just paint some black in. I know it doesn't look right right now but then we change the blending mode of this top black layer to soft light and it just has a darker look to it if you click and drag to the left if you just want a more contrasted look of the lips compared to the skin around it there's before and there's after we're just painting black on a new layer changing the blending mode to soft light you can also I'm going to delete that top layer and we can duplicate this top layer and you can see right here if we change this to multiply so there's before and then there's after 
This is just a duplicate of the lips layer here. And with multiply, it's making it darker and opacity is down to 75%, but we can make it larger or smaller just for a darker lipstick look. So here's before, here's after, and here's another effect. And of course, if we wanted this to be even lighter instead of darker, instead of multiply, you can press Control or Command J and drag this up to the top here. And we can change this top blending mode to screen. And that looks not realistic, right? Because there's before, there's after. It's a little bit more saturated. Then that's really uh, light. So I would bring that passy down even more, a lot more, like say 25 or 20. So that's just a subtle look. So that's a couple different ways to adjust lipstick and adjust lip color in Photoshop.